evening. Tonight we celebrate two men who made a living out of making us laugh. It's a tough job. There are a few more difficult ways of earning a crust. By comparison, a lion tamer has it cushy. The two comedians we remember tonight were great individualists, more clowns than tellers of jokes. They were Tommy Cooper and Frankie Howard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a gosh, pretty fellow. <laughs> you fools, you, you fools. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> I was once in charge of the guest list for a dinner at which Tommy Cooper was booked to speak. That fine actor Trevor Howard called me and begged for a ticket. It's his timing, he said. Every actor should sit and watch him perform and learn how to control an audience. He is, said Trevor, a genius. Well, he didn't look like one, did he, with that wonderfully gormless face and the fez? He didn't like being interviewed. I think this is probably the only one he did on television. He was nervous, needed heavy persuasion, and the presence of his beloved props. Now, what you're about to see is me playing straight man to a great comic. It might not be a model interview, but it was great fun where I was sitting. <laughs> What's that you got in your head? A bucket. <laughs> That's not a bucket, it's a saucepan. Is it? Oh, I got the wrong hat. I said. <laughs> Sit down. Please. Oh, thank you very much. Put it down. Oh, no. <laughs> As I said um, in the introduction, you're the most impersonated man in Britain. Now, I must ask you, when was the first time you went, not like that? I never did it. <laughs> you never did? Never said that at all. Really? I never. Well, well, the other thing that they do when they take you off, they go, like that. <coughs> Don't they? No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> What's it like, though, being the man? No, they don't do that. They don't do that? No. What do they do? What, what do they do, you say? They go, like that? No, they don't do that. What do they do? They do it like that, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do it once more. <laughs> now, well, where, in fact, did the, the, the fez come from? Well, uh, the Fez. Yes, the Fez. Well, funny enough, uh, the Fez came uh, when I was uh, in Egypt. I was in the army there, you see. And, uh... <sighs> oh, no. No, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I was thinking of something else. I got led away a bit there. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it's nothing to do with the show, really. But nothing, nothing. No, it's all right. What's matter? Look, <clears throat> well, I backed a horse today, you see. At 20 to 1. And it came in 20 past four. <laughs> really? I, it's, it's nothing to do with it, really. I mean, what I'm going to talk about it's just a personal thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, it's like when people give you a tip, they always from the side of the mouth, isn't it? They give you a tip like that. Or like that. They don't want to hear it themselves, in case they back. <laughs> You see, it's a day for the very... F I don't really gamble. No. No, but today, this man gave me a tip, and I lost 200 pounds. 200 pounds? 200 pounds, yeah, but, I mean, that's nothing to do with it. I, I shouldn't say anything about it, really, because... <laughs> it's just nothing. Go ahead. Uh. <laughs> very upsetting. No, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> 200 pounds! <laughs> I'll be all right now, no. no. I'm all right, I'm all right, really. I asked you about the fez. When did you start, first start the fez? I mean, how do you get the idea of the fez? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.
Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> No, I've got the face. <laughs> does my voice sound a bit hoarse? Yes. It does, but it doesn't. It, I, I, it did because the day I, I, I lost my voice a little bit today, and, and then two hundred quid. Oh dear! No, I lost, I lost my voice a bit as I, I went and saw a doctor, and he said, uh, "So he looked, he said, up me, my went like that, and he looked down. He's a little raw." I went, <laughs> It wasn't loud, it was, <laughs> oh, No, when I got the fez, oh. I, wore, I, I got it when I was in Egypt. I was in, I was in the army there, you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I, we did a show at the YMCA, and I used to wear a pith helmet. <laughs> pith helmet. <laughs> my teeth is. <laughs> anyway, I used to wear this bed and then one day I forgot to bring it with me. So I, these waiters used to walk about with a fez and a long white gala beard. So I took one off the head and I wore it ever since. Why aren't you wearing one today? Why? Why? Well, there's a long story attached to it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about that later on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>